Say hi, Izzy. Hi, hi Izzy. Izzy. Say hi, Izzy. Hi, Izzy. <laughs> hi, everyone. I'm Amy from Amy's Gardistry. Welcome to my channel. My daughter's standing right here. <laughs> Come over here. No, Come you. over and say hi. No, thank you. Anyway, today I am <laughs> painting over a canvas that didn't quite like the results. So I have taken Let's do an overhead shot here. I just painted it with white. I can still see some of the lines through, but that's okay. I don't mind that. I don't mind that at all. It gives it some texture in behind. So um, yeah, I'll go through my colors and let's get painting. Down to the canvas. So the colors that I'm using today are a combination of colors that I I uh, used about a year ago, I did a big uh, dirty pour uh, inspired by Sarah Mack and it is a piece that I have hanging uh, in my stairway going down to my living room that is definitely in my, it's probably number one or number two of my favorite pieces. Um, it is up on my website, I will put a link right up above here. Uh, so you can go and check that out. This color combination is really, really beautiful. It creates some beautiful cells with the gold and the um, peridot green. Um, so yeah, I wanted to try this new technique with the cake decorator with these colors. I will have them all listed down in the description. I really love the creative freedom that this technique allows. It's a technique where you can just keep going and going with your lines and how you move the cake decorator or how you move your catalyst wedge if that's what you're using. You can stretch it out and go back in or you can stretch it out and leave it as it is. It has been such a journey with this technique. I'm loving it so very much. And again, the final result of this piece is just absolutely gorgeous. And it definitely helps that I love this color combination. Um, so please stay tuned for the end results. I would love to hear what you think of the results. And if you have any color combinations that you wanna see, I will definitely try. I got some great, great suggestions on my last video with this technique and will definitely be doing some reds and purples. I'm super excited to try all of the color combinations. So let me know what you would love to see.
And here's the close up. I am loving the composition on this, just the negative space out on the edges, as well as just the colors in the center. I love this cake decorating tool. I love being able to leave a little bit of my base coat on the thicker side so that I can stretch it out just a little bit enough that I can go back in and add in some crisper lines with that tool and the combination of the two the stretched out lines as well as the crisp lines are just absolutely beautiful let me know what you think down in the comments if you've watched this far i would love if you would leave me some yellow or gold hearts in the comments have a great day and a great week and i will see you in the next video bye